Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video on how I used frame or motion to make my nav bar appear and disappear whenever I scroll. So to start, uh, you want to install frame or motion into your project right here. Just npm install it. And for this particular example, what you want to do is import use in view from frame or motion, uh, use state and use effect and use ref from react. Okay, so what I did here is I gave this section a reference by setting here my ref equals to use ref. Okay, now what I did is I set a use in view from Famer Motion, and this takes in a reference, which is this one right here, and then it takes some option optional parameters. So here I said once to false, which means once it's out of the frame, um, do you want it to just like toggle on and off or do you want it just once? So if you do once, it will only toggle it one time. Okay, so if you want this to toggle on and off, you wanna keep this as false. And now for the amount, this can be any number from zero to one. And it's basically how much of the section is gonna still be in view when this will be toggled. For instance, I want I want my nav bar to be toggled once half of this section is gone out of view. So I put one half. And here what I did is I set a state variable which was color because it's either filled or transparent. So I did color and here I ran a use effect every time the is in view switches. So when is in view is toggled to true, then set my color to true, else it's false. Now what I did is I passed in the color variable to my header, and my header destructures it as a prop, which is a color. Here, if color is true, then that means I'm in the hero section, so it should be transparent. Else, if I'm not in the hero section, then it should be a background of gray. And that's how it basically works, so. Just scroll up and down and that's basically what it does so here what you can do with the um is in view you can do a bunch more stuff you can have this basically it toggles anything so you can literally put this reference on any element you want and make an animation so thanks for watching if you have any comments any questions please leave them down in the comments i know i'm not the best teacher here but i just wanted to get this video out and maybe help someone who was trying to do this too. So thanks for watching.